my grilled chicken enchiladas, I've got chipotle peppers. I've already seeded those, and I'm going to dice them up. I've got green chilies, mild green chilies. I've already diced those up. I've got one large red onion that I've diced. I've got fresh frozen corn, probably about a cup and a half or so. I've got fresh garlic, of course. You know me. I always got to have fresh garlic. I use a lot. Probably four or five large cloves chopped up. And to garnish, I have diced fresh tomatoes and fresh cilantro, of course. Can't get enough of that. All right, let's grill some marinated chicken. Let's make an easy enchilada sauce. I take these sliced stewed tomatoes, they're Mexican style with jalapenos and spices. Just put them in your blender, like so. Put some cumin in. You can always add more later. Put some chili powder in. And later on, I'm gonna saute some onions and garlic and all that beautiful stuff but anyway for right now and I'm gonna tighten it up with a little bit of flour but for right now I'm just gonna put it right like this finish up your enchilada sauce saute some red onion fresh garlic and a little bit of butter and canola oil or olive oil wait till your red onions are translucent which those almost are, but then go ahead and pour in your puree mixture. Let it simmer. Here we go. All right, here we go. I like to, when I'm assembling my enchiladas, I like to heat up two or three at a time. Just put them on a platter, put a uh, paper towel over top, maybe a little water, and steam them in the microwave for like 40 seconds. Here, what I like to do. I have a cheese blend I like to use. It's got four different cheeses. And your chicken, of course. And I take my poblano pepper mixture with the corn and the mild green chilies. Oh, and that's so delicious. And I have my enchilada sauce over here that I made from scratch. And I go ahead and put some of that in there. It's fun. You can make, you can put beef in there, you can put whatever you want to in there. Put some more cheese, whatever you like. And then just roll them up like a cigar. And set it right in the pan on top of your enchilada sauce. All right, I put my enchiladas in the oven, 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Let's see, five. Enchiladas, poblano, pola, get it all in.